We're getting new sound equipment next year, but right now we're using a boom and camera mic. So Molly is our sound guy. Molly, come peek in and say hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm hanging out with my boyfriend, Mike or Husky. Hey guys. H -E -S -S I'll be putting his links down below. So go check him out, subscribe, show him some love. He uploads on average, he's, he took a five year hiatus? About five years, yeah, I mean, who's counting? About five year hiatus, and now he's on a rigorous upload schedule mm -hmm. of one video a month. Ish. That's the average. Anyways, he surprised me with this beautiful, massive, fancy gingerbread house. The biggest and best one I have ever seen in my life. And he did a very good job. If you wanna check out that video of him surprising me, cause he planned all of this, I'll put a link down below so you can go watch it over on his channel. I just really never thought that he would get this for me because it's a little pricey. So I also thought it would be really fun to make a video today because one of my guilty pleasures is watching those food videos. You love those the videos. The versus videos. Yeah. Where it's like a $1 cupcake versus a $200 cupcake. I fall down a rabbit hole of watching those videos and I've never really been in the position to make one of those until today. For today's video, we are going to try this fancy $1,000 gingerbread house versus a $10 gingerbread house that you find at the store. And because he surprised me and I really did not plan this video, I still have to go to the store. Mm -hmm. So my, I might actually film just going to the store and finding one of the $10 gingerbread houses. I'm just so excited because this is my very first versus video and I've always wanted to do one of these, but Mike's always like, I'm not gonna pay $400 <laughs> for a fancy cheeseburger or a fancy cake, but ha ha, he didn't know that I would eat his gifts. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will say for the thousand dollar gingerbread house, it came assembled. And if you yes. saw the video that I made, it, you just pull it out of the box and it's ready. Now, it's my understanding that that is not how ten dollar gingerbread houses are. So we will go through the process of trying to make the ten dollar gingerbread house look as close to this as we can. Oh, wow. I. Okay, this gingerbread house is decorated on all sides and it's even decorated on the inside of the house. Yeah. If you look in the house, chairs, there's the, there's the coffee table. The amount of detail is so impressive and that's why I really fell in love with these is it's really a piece of art. I feel like I'm eating art. We need to go get our other gingerbread house. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe a little run to Target. Target has a cute little, I think like a $10 gingerbread house that's a similar theme. Mm -hmm. So I think it'll be a great comparison. Cookie is whining because she knows that we're going somewhere. I know, we should take the dogs. I think. Every time I say I'm going to Target or go for a ride, she knows that we're getting in the car. So maybe we should bring them. All right, let's should do we? it. Let's do it. Okay, let's be hashtag ridiculous. <laughs> let's bring the dogs. Mike, this is an outfit. You're rocking Have it. Have you seen this OOTD? <laughs> This is what happens when you don't plan your outfit. You just gotta go. <laughs> I had such a cute outfit on with the dress and the heels earlier, and now I'm just, I give up. Okay, let's go. We're going for a ride, let's go. Here we go, here we go. Oh, cookie one. Booberry. You can't escape safety. Safety first, ladies. Ladies, you can't escape safety even though you want to. Ha, <sighs> take that, Dodds. We got over there, Row. Dog <laughs> no big oh, deal. I forgot my purse. Oh. Oh. But you got the dog store. That's the important thing. Okay. Oh, my phone. That fell right in here. <laughs> Look at that. <sighs> Boom. Ready? And we're off. <laughs> you look so cozy. I'm basically wearing a blanket. <laughs> It just stopped raining, so we have really good luck. I know, that was, it was raining when we got in the car, and now it is not raining. Woo, look at those mom skills. You're such a dog mom. <laughs> Here's Blueberry. Blueberry, muffin. They love going in this thing. I know, they love it. They just hang out in there all day. Like fun. You're killing the Target game. You're even dressed in Target colors. I wonder if they're right in front. Oh my god. Oh my god. And look at this. Like, no joke, not even planned. $10. $10. 
I mean, <laughs> this is so easy. Perfect. All right, well, after the world's shortest shopping trip, we are back with our gingerbread house. I know, we found a classic gingerbread house right away. It was right up front at Target, and there was actually two of them, but I chose this one because I really like the texture mm -hmm. of the roof. Now, I've already built it. I took the time to build it and let it set because that does take some time, and I didn't want to bore you guys. But it did not come with this. No. No, it, it did, did not. not come. It came with this dinky cardboard mm -hmm. teen. It barely could fit the house on there, and I said, "Not acceptable." I'm gonna get us a square cake plate because I have a bunch handy because I yeah. bake a lot. So Ro, so Ro is doing them a couple of favors with the board, and also that is the amount of icing that came with yeah, it. Yes, so this but, is its icing. But we put it in our own bag with our own tip. Because their just tip make it was just not up to par. Yeah, so that's, that's a honest. mark against them. It was not great. But in the pro category, nothing is broken. There is detail, and there's even a little front awning thing comparable-ish mm -hmm. to the other one, I would say. Yeah, I think so. And it has a lot of detail in the gingerbread. Mm -hmm. I love that when companies take the time to do custom prints and presses into their gingerbread. I think it's really impressive, and they kind of give you outlines like where the windows or where the doors are. Mm -hmm. That is additional love and detail that I appreciate. So for your $10, I am already happy. And we also got some little Christmas light sprinkles. Yeah, Those how are much super candy cute. did we get here? Quite a bit, actually. We yes. got... These little guys, they look delicious. Peppermint. I don't know what you would use full peppermints for. Michael, but... you know what a peppermint is. No, I know is. what it is. I know what it is. And Mike, then these tell ones. Tell them what kind of candies we get with this kit. <laughs> Gladly. We also have, I think, Holly, right, with the little berries. Yeah, the little which, sugar candies. Which those are really, really cute. These are little oh, the gummy gummies. Christmas trees. Oh, yeah, we've got classic gumdrops and then gummy trees. Michael, don't eat those. Those are my favorite. My mouth is actually watering. I don't know but how they taste, but. These are the only trees that they gave us, so we have to make them look like the other That's home because this home has a ton of trees. Turn the big house around, and I'm going to try to decorate this house to look like that house, and then we're going to do a taste test. There we go. That's your inspo. The glow up is real. You can do it, little guy. You can do it. I believe in you. Are you just saying that to me? You can um, do it, little guy. <laughs> I also, I think I'm gonna allow you, you know, I, I'm gonna really let you take charge on the decorating. Okay. Um, because I know it's really important to you. It, doggies, yeah. is this really the time to play? They're, They're running playing in circles. Chase. You wanna help? So what are you doing right now? I'm putting a little icing down on my cake plate because I realized I didn't attach it. Ooh, put it in place. Blueberry's very interested in that. Blueberry can't wait for me to drop something. And Cookie's just asleep. Yeah, Cookie did actually go to bed already. All right, so we were discussing Grayson and Blueberry Muffin, and yes. turns out Blueberry Muffin is a Capricorn. Ooh. So I looked up traits of a Capricorn. Yeah, what are her traits? Tell me about these Capricorn traits. So first one it says is ambitious aka workaholic. So blueberry muffins really putting in a lot of work here. All the time. Persistent slash relentless. C true. That's true if there's a That's treat. Very true. Realistic a are also known as pessimistic. I don't know if blueberry is that. I haven't I don't, really asked I her. I don't think so. I think she lives in a fantasy world where everything's made out of dog biscuits. Disciplined, I think maybe she'll grow into that. Because currently that is not. Currently happening. she is not disciplined very not much. Happening. No, no. What are Capricorns into? Now this is from the uh, like go-to source for this kind of stuff, Cosmopolitan. Uh -huh. So their number one, what they're into <laughs> is money. Capricorns? Yeah, it says it's the most tangible way to measure the success, and success is their catnip. So uh, she's gonna be balling. She's gonna be driving a Bentley. She's. Our she's, dog? <laughs> she's all about getting that coin. Wow, I never knew these things. Well, right now, now she fell asleep. They should have a cancer as their lover. So if she gets a boyfriend, dog, we need to. <gasps> what's Maddie? Text Justine, what's Maddie? Little DJ Minimat, what's his astrological sign? Yeah, it's true. Hello. Hi, Justine. Justine! Hi. Okay, I have a very... We have a really, really, really serious, really important serious question, question. So I need you to please uh, be serious. Okay. Okay, we were looking up Blueberry Muffin's astrological sign, and it says that she is best matched with a cancer. So we were wondering, what astro sign is DJ Minimat? Oh, his... What is he? Is 
June 17th. Okay, we're Googling it. Stat. Wait, is he a Gemini? I don't know. Molly, Molly, Google it, Google it. <gasps> He's a Gemini oh. like me. Okay, Justine, that's, that's why we get along so well. We, we, okay. We're a party. Yeah, you guys are just trouble. How funny. Justine, if you meet another dog that's a cancer, let me know. It could be a love match. I will ask around, see what I can do. Okay, okay, okay I'll let you go, bye. Yeah. Okay, so may not be a love interest, but no. we'll see. Dang it. What about Sir George? Okay, I'm gonna bug all my friends. I'm just gonna send out a group text and, and just ask, is anybody's dog? Oh no. What? It says here, you're not gonna like this, Rosanna. Don't tell me. What, it says, what? Gemini's will infuriate, infer that's, this word is impossible to say. If you can't say it, then it's- Gemini's doesn't... will infuriate, is Infer that right? Infuriate. Infer no, it's, infuriate. that's way too many syllables. Infer infuriate. 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 That's Gem a word that like, once you have to think what? about it. <laughs> it's not infuriate. Infer <laughs> that's too many. <laughs> Too many syllables. Molly and okay. I both went infuriate. to college. Mike, it's infuriate. We, we That's how you say it. We know what we're talking about. Um. Okay. Cool. Infuriating. Infuriating. Uh, okay. So Gemini's will infuriate them with their fickle and nonsensical ideas and schemes. <laughs> <laughs> That's so rude. <laughs> nonsensical uh, ideas and schemes. Yeah. First off. I have never made a scheme in my life. You have a lot of nonsensical ideas, though, let's I be honest. I am creative, I'm a creative type, and I have mm -hmm. lots of ideas. Mm -hmm. And yeah, some of them stink, but some of them are great. Fun fact, I like this. The Earth sign crew, which is Capricorns, Taurus, which is me, and Virgos, all get along well with each other. They're on each other's wavelength and share similar priorities and values, to a degree. So me and Blueberry Muffin, we get along well because we want our Bentleys. We want, um, it says appetite, so I think we like to eat. Wow, I am learning <laughs> a lot. A quick update, Ro is putting the trees on the front because they were falling over and it was not working out. Timber! Yeah, that's not staying up at all. No, so now they're kind of stacked like the other ones. Yeah, we're trying to go for this. Oh, look Let's who's awake see now. see if we can get there. Oop. Look who's done from her nap. It's Blueberry Muffin. Baby Muffin. I don't care what the stars say. We're best friends. Yeah, don't listen to Cosmopolitan. They've Wait, we only have one tree left? Wait, what? There's only one tree <gasps> left? Is that all we had? Yes, this means we can eat it. Okay, we're gonna taste gummy quality now. Okay? Curious now, to see. Now this is from the $10 kit. This is what I'm here for, by the way, is the candy taste. Oh my gosh. Is it good? Gummies and gumdrops are so good. One of my favorite little yum yums. Is that apple? I know, isn't that good? It actually tastes like those little apple rings, which With I really like. a little like. sour apple. Mm. Okay, Target, I'm kind of into it. I want more of them. I'm kind of sad there's not more. It's very sour apple-y. That's actually really good. Okay, we need to make a wreath. If I had a lot of time, I would roll out one of these gumdrops. Oh, you've done that before. Mm -hmm. I've actually seen With you do that before. With a rolling pin, I would roll one of these out and cut out a wreath. And on the box of this one, it shows a wreath made out of the candies that you're using. Here, let's take a look. A blueberry. Blueberry muffin. Are you trying to eat this? Oh, she definitely will. Okay, so show us what you're doing here. Making a little wreath with the holly leaves. Okay, so Rose putting that wreath together, oh, and that's kind of what we're going for. I mean, it's I didn't use enough icing. It's already falling. Uh oh. I mean, Just, even on theirs though, it kind of it's it's tricky. What do you? Yeah, you can even see all the jank icing. Yeah, even like, theirs look, isn't you can perfect. See all the... I don't think there's a way to do it perfect, just because these things are really thick and heavy. Let's just stick these suckers on there. Oh my gosh, did I off-center this whole thing? Oh my gosh, I did. It's not even in the middle. <laughs> oh no, it's my Oh heart. my gosh, no! <laughs> Let's get a let's get a little close up here. What we got? No, going Mike, on? Mike, no, no, don't, no, uh, no, it's all right. So wreath ugly. update. Wreath update. <laughs> no, 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 no. Kind of slid a little bit here. A disaster. Oh, 
Jeez. I mean, they're kind of staying on somehow. My grandma is rolling over in her grave. <laughs> no, I'll fix it. You know, it. maybe the little oh. berries are gonna make it what Oops. makes it really feel festive. I'm gonna stick some berries on there. It's gonna be great. I'm noticing that with this house, I've just decorated the front and I'm already running out of candy. Yeah, it doesn't come with a lot. The trees are lacking. I mean, there's a lot of holly leaves if you wanna, or whatever these little guys are, if you wanna make 10 wreaths. What are you doing? Mike, those are, I don't have that much candy. Uh -oh. Well, you're throwing them on the I ground. Think it's gone. The dogs are gonna eat it. Mike, hold on. I found it. Mike, I need those. Oh, look, and they have a little um, red little dot on the, so I'm gonna put one of those on oh, as well. Oh, cool. yeah. Stick that. Well, cool. Let's get a quick update. Um, That fell, so, so we'll just, we'll do our own thing. Rosanna, I see you, you put your own creative <laughs> twist on it. Michael, it, it fell, okay? Uh-huh. <laughs> Okay, the icing, I didn't hold it on there long enough and... Ro has such attention to detail, she cannot not clean it up. Oh, it just bothers me, like... Oh, uh, no! No, 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 no! 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no! I mean, things are going well. Your yard is looking well landscaped. Thanks, Mike. Instead of the reef in every window, because this is much smaller, mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a holly berry ah, little bunch, little yeah, grouping can't fit one there. in every window. That's cute. Another quick update, Ro has added holly to each window. Mm -hmm. She is designing a custom made door here. Now they have a red gingerbread door with wood imprinted into the gingerbread. Mm -hmm. We do not have that. We have none of those things. So I'm gonna follow kind of the boxes in Spo and I'm just gonna paint a white door. Oh geez, what have I done? This icing is starting to get really thick. Yeah, I was gonna say, this is drying before you it's, can even get it on the door. I know. That's a pretty cute door. All right, let's stick the, what side does the doorknob go on? On the right side. On the right? Hey, there you go. There. Boom. That, works. that looks I like a house. Like it. I like it. And if you get a good angle, it looks like a big house. <laughs> <laughs> I can customize our names. Oh, that's a good point. So I'm going to write. Oh, here we go. We got to get this. Wait. No, I don't want to write Merry Christmas. My hands hurt. <laughs> the icing is so thick. I have to be it's like not very honest. Out. My hands hurt. My fingers hurt from piping. It's Mine too. So I've really thick. been helping a lot. I, I, you know, I'm, I was gonna write Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas on the side. I'm not anymore. I'm just gonna put our names. <laughs> this hurts so bad. <laughs> you know, all things considered, it's not looking too bad. They do really symmetrical, and I really appreciate that. And I did not do that for us, <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know what to do now. <laughs> Bro, Mike. It, why didn't I center it? Why didn't I center it? <laughs> I'm trying to think, how can we make it work with cookie and blueberry to make it look- Oh gosh, just the thought of piping <laughs> blueberry muffin right now. I mean, there's just those blueberries, so that would be fair, but blueberry muffin would be quite the undertaking. I got this. I got this, I got this. I've got the holiday spirit on my side. Okay, there's cookie. And there's a blueberry muffin. Blueberry. Do not tell me that I spelled something wrong. I will flip out. Oh, Do no. not wait, tell wait, me wait, I spelled spell something check. wrong. No, you're good so far. It's so just R-Y is all you need. Okay, don't, uh, when you went silent right there, I thought you were gonna tell me I spelled something wrong and I was like, I, 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 it's staying. <laughs> all right, you did it. Look at that. Ro, my <laughs> cookie blueberry. There's Henry over there. Henry. Good boy. Okay, that looks really good, Mike. Look what I've I done. I mean, that is quality. We should do that on our roof outside. Sure, I'll let you do that. Okay, okay, okay cool, you can cool, go cool. outside and decorate. <laughs> All right, so Ro finished decorating the $10 gingerbread house over here. Which looks really good. It looks pretty darn good, but when you compare it to the $1,000 gingerbread house, which I acquired, so this is my contribution, it <laughs> looks almost comedic, like maybe this is the garage. <laughs> I really tried to make it look identical. I really took my time. I took way too much time a decorating this. A lot of time, this. a lot of time. And I did do some cheats. I gave it a high quality cake board. The same that kind that they use, I think. With. Yeah, it's the exact same that this bakery used. And I used a better metal tip for mm -hmm. a little bit more control when I was decorating. They have a very symmetrical design, so I tried to do the same over here. And even with the matching candies on the side of the house, they have like, 
You can see little gumdrops on the side of the house. I did gumdrops on the side of the house and they have the custom names on the roof. I piped some names on the roof. I also got the six trees in the front. Now these are gummy trees and then these ones mm -hmm. are like, I don't even know. They're they're like little dollhouse trees. They're little toy trees. I they're feel all like, decorated. I don't know, like train set trees or something. All right, now spin around the fancy one. I'll do it with you so you can Ooh, really see the side. Wait, I'll do it at the same time. Wait. There is Ooh. so much detail on this big one, it's actually crazy. I don't know, Mike. Mine has a lot of detail <laughs> in the back. Um, where yours has a full chimney. I know. This one has a full chimney, an entire actual forest. This one doesn't look bad at all. We just ran out of icing. I wish there was more icing and I wish there was more candies. Yeah. So that's me always. But for a $10 kit, uh, I this mean, is, there's a lot you can do. I would uh, I would honestly say out of all the store-bought kits I've seen, this is actually probably my favorite. Visually, we've seen the difference. Mm -hmm. We've done the $10 versus the $1,000 gingerbread, but are you ready for the taste? What should we eat? <laughs> I'm trying to think. Eat, we have to, okay, one, we have to eat the actual gingerbread, and then let's have a gumdrop. I always love red candy, so we're gonna try. I did yellow. Really soft and fresh. They're more fruity than like the mint classic gumdrops. Yeah. They're like, that was way more lemony. I might actually be eating those. Do we want to eat one off of the house? Yeah, let's do it. Oh my gosh, I just feel bad. I don't even want to touch this. We have to replace this. Okay, I'm gonna take a gumdrop off and then I'm gonna replace it. Okay, I'm gonna I'll do a red a one, one again. I'm gonna do a yellow one. This feels wrong. Mmm. Well, this it's is a, traditional. a spicy one, yeah. It's traditional. They're the minty, minty spice traditional gumdrops. Mm -hmm. Oh, so good. that's the holidays. Ooh, okay. Wow. Both both candies are a win. These gumdrops are a little bit mm. bigger, which shouldn't be a surprise, I suppose. Oh, they're, and it's you're, thicker. You're just gonna start singing over here. This is good. 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 Okay, do we want to do a piece of gingerbread now? Yes. Okay. Full disclosure, I ate a little piece of the chair. In, in my this, video, yeah. In this fancy house, because I wanted to taste it. Should I take apart the chair? Do you think you can get the chair? Let's just take the whole chair out. Okay. You know, that <gasps> chair- It's Baby Gray! It's Gray! Baby Gray! Do you want to see a gingerbread house? I've never seen it before. <gasps> oh my gosh, this you is Baby Gray's hair. first gingerbread house. <gasps> Baby Gray, oh, which like one's your favorite? Things. Your aunt oh, made this one, it. so it's pretty good, right? Let's okay. line them up and let's see which one he likes the most. <gasps> what do you think? Which one you want, Grayson? Which one would you eat? <laughs> that one. <laughs> oh, he's going for the big one. He's going for the, the big one. Good. You got good taste, buddy. You got good taste. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, nephew. Bye, Grayson. Bye, Grayson. Bye. Thanks for stopping by. Disclaimer and an apology to the bakery who made this. I love it, you are phenomenal, and I'm sorry that I'm ripping out your detailed art. You are, I'm ripping out this gingerbread chair inside of the house. So I don't know if you can see, but in there, there's all this furniture mm -hmm. and a fireplace, and I'm going for it. I'm gonna get us a piece of ginger, I'm gonna get us a piece of gingerbread, here I go. Oh, I got something. I got the back of the chair and the side of the chair. So now it's just um, a poof. A poof. Now it's That's a poof. That's very modern. So okay. I've got these two pieces of gingerbread. Okay, this one has a little frosting on it actually. Yeah. Here, we want a piece without and one with. We're gonna take a little taste test. This fancy house. Mm. See, it's so soft still. How do they do yeah. that? It's delicious. It's really, really good. I could eat like the whole roof to be completely honest. It tastes like they just made this today. I feel like I would go to a bakery and just order gingerbread cookies like this. Yum. Like no joke. Oh, this is a great recipe. Mm-hmm. All right, are we ready for another recipe? Mm-hmm. Don't break a tooth. <laughs> um, oh my God. <laughs> that was really crunchy. <laughs> it sounds like you're eating gravel. Much crunchier, harder. And way more spice. Way, a lot of spice. That's all I taste is the spice. It's good. It's just too much cinnamon. So now it's time to pick our favorite Ooh. between the $1,000 gingerbread house and the $10 gingerbread house. Okay, so I will say that I can't help but love the $1,000 gingerbread house. Same. I could see, I could see this becoming a tradition because everyone that comes over, they're gonna love it. They're gonna wanna talk about it. They're gonna wanna eat it. It is a centerpiece for your home. 
And yes, it is a little ridiculous, but I could see us getting a bigger and bigger gingerbread is house. Is it ridiculous? Every, it's very ridiculous, and that's why I like it. I will say though, for $10, this would probably be my go-to. Yeah, I think me 10 years ago, this would have been my favorite. It's yummy, the candies are fresh, it was pretty easy to put together, mm -hmm. it just took a lot of time. And back in the day, I had more time. I had yeah. more time on my hands and now things have really changed and I'm super busy and I have less time on my hands. So I would go with something that was already pre-made and the last couple years, I've just been getting more and more ridiculous. Yeah, it's just who I am. So this is an absolutely ridiculous gingerbread house. I, I feel like this one, is my favorite. It's even personalized and with the little people and the dogs. It's just so <laughs> extra. It's just so over the top. <laughs> we were trying to get frosting out there. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is the first time that we have ever made a versus, a food mm -hmm. versus video. It was so fun. I loved great. this. As a foodie, any excuse I can take to be fancy, because this is not how I grew up. Yeah. I mean, I grew up eating Kraft mac and cheese. So still eat that. Anytime I get to be fancy and I get to share that moment with you guys is like everything. So if you like these kind of videos, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video and let me know in the comments down below what other verses would you like to see? Right now I am fighting off a, a blueberry muffin, a wild blueberry puppy muffin over here. She just here. wants to eat the whole house. She is so hungry. It is actually her dinner time. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm gonna go feed her. And also don't forget to check out Mike's Mr. Husky's video. I'm gonna put his link down below where he surprises me with this amazing Christmas present. And this your reaction so is priceless. You guys should check it out, it's great. This month I'm making a bunch of holiday theme content. So if you'd like to watch more videos, you can click over here. Or over, over here. Oh wait, did I? <laughs> over there, that side. <laughs> I usually point this way. This one works too. But uh, here is or also there. good, and that one is or there, great or as there, well. Or there, or there. And let us know in the comments down below which gingerbread house was your favorite. Yeah. 